Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another Choco Game Review This time for the uh, Uni 5 Hakuben Mark 2 Alright, so this is the piece, let's take a look at the box here Alright, so this is actually a piece that was actually made in uh, 2005 by Presto And here we have Hakuben so uh, I guess some of you who play the Super Robot War games will be more familiar with this character and recently we've seen him resurface in the uh, Super Robot Wars uh, the Inspector animation, though he looks different um, I heard that they had to modify the face of the robot because it looks too much like a Gundam and uh, it has some copyright issues I heard, quite crap anyway um, so let's just go into the figure I read so in terms of uh, die cast content, the torso Okay, the torso is mainly die cast, and then the lower body wise, we have uh, the back here is die cast. I believe the uh, assembly at the bottom is die cast. The whole leg assembly, thigh, the whole leg uh, is die cast. However, the toes are plastic, okay, or rather it's a uh, PVC. So actually, this guy has quite a good feel to him. And he does look very, very nicely sculpted. Paint application is uh, very, very well done. In terms of articulation, the head has. Um, full 360 rotation based on the ball joint you can actually move him side to side up down motion as well very good uh, in terms of the shoulders wise uh, he can actually move uh, back and front slightly all right uh, full motion as well and uh, you can actually raise it up this high elbows wise or the arms wise you can rotate 360 uh, single jointed elbow you can actually move this much okay uh, wrist 360 motion uh, his waist very mobile. You can actually turn him 360 if you want to, and sideways motion as well. And uh, in terms of let's look at the back. At the backpack, you have these wings. Uh, they actually move quite freely as well. You can actually adjust them quite freely to to uh, angle that you think looks nice. All right. And in terms of uh, the back, okay, this back panels you can actually move them uh, slightly. The side panels you can actually move them quite a lot. Uh, for the front skirt this much and for the legs size um, basically you can move them quite a lot uh, okay raise the head so high it's only blocked by the skirt uh, knees wise uh, single jointed knees all right and the thigh you can actually turn them around over here this is a little bit tight so let me try the other one yeah this uh softer see you can turn the thigh all right uh, ankles wise uh, free rotation you can actually move this flat up a little bit here and there ankle quite freely Alright, so that's about it for his articulation. In terms of weaponry, um, it comes with. Uh, okay, let's just go through another part. But because this is jet, so this jet is actually very, very detailed. Um, the head scout is very detailed. It's supposed to be um, separate. It's like, a, like just like a gun damage. Okay, separate the, the torso and the lower body, and this jet that comes out. So it's very, very detailed. Uh, you can actually see they pay a lot of efforts to uh, to sculpt the head. And uh, my camera can't focus clearly, but you can see the head, the face. The face is there, the eyes, it's really 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 well done for, for this piece and um, in terms of weapons wise um, we have um, this this uh, weapon part thingy, I don't know what weapon you call it so basically what you can do is actually open this and you can actually push it up a little bit alright, lock it in place and it's supposed to shoot out this, this thing which will open up to form this this cutter like thingy yeah so this is uh, how it goes and this thing actually fits on the arm uh, which I shall do it so let me just shift this down a little bit first okay lock it back in place cool this actually fits into the uh, left arm over here uh, my only grip yeah my only grip about this thing is that it doesn't really hold well in place it tends to um, fall very easily so uh, that it's um, pretty irritating to me. Let me just try to fit this back in first. As you can see, yeah, it falls off very easily. Okay, so it's supposed to fit in um, over here. Yeah, so it doesn't really hold very tight. See, it falls off easily. So I really advise you against um, playing around with him too much. We're gonna put this thing here falls off pretty easily yeah oh well let me just just not put this up for the time being um in terms of weapon he does have this gun uh this uh rifle that you need to switch his um hand take it out and 
or the in is HP held. Uh, and it does have um, the laser saber and a spare fist. Unfortunately, it only comes with a right fist that allows you to hold the the beam saber. So you can't have him holding the beam saber at the same time holding the rifle. That's uh, quite stupid in my opinion. He should, they should have just given you an extra uh, left open arm, open fist to hold the rifle uh, to hold the beam saber. And it does come with this uh, giant uh, beam weapon as well. So what happens is that you need to actually release this part at the bottom here, slot this in at his uh, pelvis area, and then remove both fists and slot them in here. See, so you already have fists holding on to the gun. So all you need to do is just to remove the but uh, default first and store them in and there you have the weapon cool but I'm not gonna show this here so uh, all in all I think this is a very great piece I think he, he just looks like a good uh, piece with a uh, very decent die cast um, I got him cheap during my, my trip to Hong Kong which is why I'm here doing the review on this piece let me just try to fit this in okay cool this is how it looks and uh, if you compare him with the size of the uh, Bandai Super Robot Choco King Alta is it? I think they are pretty much to scale each other this looks very good together uh, and I think the scale is pretty much correct yeah about 1 to 144 four scale correct so cool I think the two of them complement each other very well so here's Charles um, signing off with yet another sort of Choco King review I hope you guys like it do check my channel for more reviews next time